What's up guys? This is Sim with Vengeance and I am back here with another Madden NFL 16 Miami Dolphins franchise. And today, ladies and gentlemen, the 12 and 4 Miami Dolphins are on the road once again in the AFC Divisional Round against the Indianapolis Colts who are 13 and 3. These two teams did face each other in the regular season and the Dolphins ended up being on the short end of that in a blowout loss at home so this one's on the road so the Colts are pretty well favored in this game so you see the other divisional games you got the Ravens versus the Broncos the Bears versus the Packers and you got the Seahawks versus the Saints pick your winners in the comment section below um, after the after you see the results of this game is of course but <clears throat> anyway um, if you guys do enjoy make sure you guys drop a like of course if you're new to the channel subscribe because there's gonna be more content like this on the way and we are getting to this game at Lucas Oil Stadium against the Indianapolis Colts in the AFC Divisional Round. Hello everyone, I'm Larry Ridley and this is the NFL on EA Sports. We're on to the Divisional Round now. Two steps away from playing on the biggest stage in sports. It's the Colts going up against the Dolphins. Now we'll go down to Lucas Oil Stadium for this matchup. It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we're here today for a matchup in which one team will take one more step towards the Super Bowl. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims, and we're here for a divisional round matchup. One team came through the wild card weekend. The other one's been sitting back on a bye, waiting for this matchup. So the playoffs continue, and everything is at stake here, partner. Yeah, you talk about that bye week. So this team has had two weeks to sit back and think about playing another game. So you know they're anxious. They're going to have energy on their side and emotion. they got to make sure it doesn't hurt them. But I think it's a big advantage for the home team. The Dolphins are back deep, waiting for the kick. And Pat McAfee has this one teed up as they gear up for kickoff. And we are underway here at Lucas Oil Stadium, as here is Devontae Parker from two yards in the end zone. Is he going to take this one out past the 20, out to about the 24 and a half, 25 yard line, uh, 24 to be exact. But a pretty good return to start off the game. And uh, here comes Ryan Tannehill, our franchise quarterback. He has been lights out all year long. And we expect nothing less but a victory for him today. As we are that much closer to possibly going to the Super Bowl. This is the AFC Divisional, but we do have our backs up against the wall. We did lose to the Colts early on in the regular season in a blowout fashion. We got our butts kicked pretty badly against this team. And their defense is actually really good in this game. They, uh, this defense gives me fits. Their defensive line, Robert Mathis, easily one of the best in the league. Uh, so my hands are quite full. Here comes Andrew Luck. He's been spectacular all season long. And uh, he is up for debate for MVP, as is Ryan Tannehill. But, you know, the Colts have a better record. So I would say, you know, whoever wins this game has a very good chance to win their case as, as MVP. But you see right there, Andrew Luck gets his first completion of the day for a pickup of 32 yards and a first down for the Colts. So just a great start, guys. Just a great start on defense. And uh, later on, it's third down and six. We're going to try and make a stop here. Here's Andrew Luck looking for the screen pass. Gets it off to Frank Gore. Frank Gore does not get the first down. We thought he was going to get it for a second, but he couldn't get away from the Miami defense. And that's going to be a nice stop right there. We're going to make them settle for a field goal at least. That's a good thing at least. Uh, you know. Having them being stopped for a field goal is, you know, not the end of the world. So it's like the kick is up. Vinatieri, it's good. You know, Vinatieri is pretty good at kicking the football, right? Right? You guys know this. You guys know it already. But anyway, they already have a 3 nothing lead. So we already have, you know, a slow start on offense and defense. Not really the most ideal start on offense. Definitely not the most ideal start on defense. Because, you know, last time, Andrew Lodge just threw like mad and I just couldn't do anything about it so here we are again not getting anything on our offensive possession here comes the Colts and we actually do make a few stops so you know the defense is actually stepping up a little bit I have found out a good defensive scheme because the Colts really don't have a good offensive line and we got to take advantage of that so if we can take advantage of their poor old line then 
everything else will be good and we can all be happy and we might come out with a win but we don't get the completion right there so that's obviously a bummer and you know the offense is continuing to struggle Ryan Tannehill has not really done well completing the passes today so we gotta fix that so here's Frank Gore on the carry makes a guy miss and gets past midfield down to the 48 yard line and another Colts first down so the Colts are moving the ball pretty well uh, we, we, we haven't really gotten many first downs yet, so we've been really struggling on the offensive side. So we got to get our act together as Andre Johnson gets that catch down to the, about the 22-yard line. So another good you know, offensive possession here for the Colts. Could they take a 10-0 lead, though? They're at the 25 here. Here's a play action. Andrew Luck throws to the end zone, and it's intercepted by Grimes. So nice play right there by the defense, preventing another score for the Colts to try and make it a 10-0 lead. And... You know, we just got to get on the board. That's all we need to do. Just get on the board. So here's a third down play again. Andrew or uh, Ryan Tannehill can't get anything going. He he's just not getting it at all. Hasn't completed many passes. He's like two for eight at this point. And we can't bench him. He's obviously our franchise quarterback. We're not gonna, you know, replace him with Matt Moore just for one game because it would just ruin the chemistry of everything. But you see right there, Andrew Luck overthrows his target. So the defense steps up again on a, another. It's still a really close game, too. I like it. You know, just got to keep going, try and find something on offense. The defense is playing good enough for us to finally get a score. But you see Tannehill gets a completion out there to Jordan Cameron. First down, Dolphins. Finally, right? Just finally. So, anyway, we are here on a third down play, trying to get this one for across the line for a first down. And we cannot, as that is one thrown into triple coverage. And we're going to end up settling for a field goal right here from Caleb Sturgis. And this one's a pretty much a chip shot from this range. This one's good. So the game's tied at three. With two and a half to go here in the first half, this game is close. Good defensive matchup so far. Very good defensive matchup. Defenses are playing up, playing well, stepping up, making plays, coming up with turnovers. Although we have not committed a turnover ourselves, uh, our defense has, which has kind of really kind of made the difference in this game, if you really think about it. That interception is just huge. Um... But you see another offsides penalty. We shoot ourselves in the, in the foot. And uh, that's not good considering that they're already past midfield. And uh, this could very well decide. This this drive here could very well decide the game here. Because the Colts do start the ball with the ball in the second half. Uh, it doesn't very well decide the game. It very well could like kill our momentum, I should say. So second down and goal here from the 18-yard line. Here's Andrew Luck. Steps back. Has time to throw. And he looks to the left side. It's caught by Fleener. Touchdown, Colts. It's now 10-7. Or not 10-7. 10-3. Indianapolis. So, Indianapolis is just doing work on us. And here is the ensuing kickoff to start the second half. And he doesn't even get touched. He's gone. Touchdown, Colts. So, it's 17-3. Backs up against the wall, ladies and gentlemen. This, could be our, this very well could be our season. It's not looking good for us. That return, where was the kickoff coverage on that one? Crowd's going nuts, and we just just crapped the bed, if you want to call it that. So we got to bounce back like really fast here. What can we do, though? Um, well, something on that play, at least. That's good, at least. You know, right? Just a little bit at a time. Just little chunks at a time. As long as we don't give up another big play, I mean, the defense isn't playing well enough to where... We could get back in this game. Special teams just had a, a minor hiccup. Like, a, actually, I wouldn't say that's a minor hiccup. That's a huge hiccup. But anyway, third down and eight. Here is Tannehill. Looks underneath on the deep routes. It's the size that goes to what Jay Ajay and gets out to the 20 yard line. So, a nice play right there by Jay Ajay to get out of bounds and keep the drive alive for the Dolphins and possibly get us a touchdown in this drive. So that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? I know, right? It's a touchdown. We haven't got one all game. So, uh, Tannehill. Looking, touchdown, Devontae Parker, and there we go. We finally get on the board. Devontae Parker, man, he has played such a huge role on this team. It's insane. He's been doing so well. I love the way his production on the field has been amazing. So, you see, uh, we do make another stop here for the Colts. Uh, the deep, their offense has been kind of struggling um, out, you know, ever since they got their touchdown. Uh, their special teams has kind of been helping them out this game. So, um, yeah, we can definitely work on that and try and make a comeback at least. It's only a seven-point game here midway through the third. 
or nearing the end of the third quarter, so it's we're not doing too bad. So we just need to chew up the clock, get up first downs, and make sure we balance the ball in the running and the passing attacks because we haven't really been running the ball a whole lot. Although when we have, we have been running the ball very efficiently, which in turn, you know, can open up the passing game. You see Jay Ajay up the gut, gets a first down for the Dolphins. He's been doing really well as well. Three carries, 17 yards for the guy. So we're at the 16-yard line here. Now we're at the five on a first and goal. We're going to do a toss sweep play. That is Lamar Miller cutting it to the outside and just gets in. Touchdown, Dolphins. And this game is now tied at 17 going into the fourth quarter. This is huge. We bounced back from 14 points down. They scored two straight touchdowns. We're, we're like, you know what? We can get two uh, we can get two straight touchdowns as well. So another, you know, good play by Andrew Luck there to get the first down for the Colts. Keep the drive alive as we're just beginning the fourth quarter here, just about under seven minutes to go. Third down and 11 for the Colts, and here's Andrew Luck looking has time. Net, he's scrambling and he gets it incomplete. Nice, uh, nice defense there by the Dolphins. Uh, Rashad Jones comes up with that big play. And the Dolphins have a chance to try and take the lead. This is something that's kind of... This is a nice feeling when you can come back from like a I know, a couple of touchdown deficit. It's a really awesome feeling. It, you, you just have to experience it for yourself if you're one of those guys who's never really been blown out in Madden before. You know, when you're down, you, you're like, okay, what do I have to do to get myself back in this ballgame? And that that's just like... When you actually pull it off, it's one of the greatest feelings ever, you know. So, again, over the middle here. And another completion out to Greg Jennings. And he gets the first down. So, the Dolphins are keep keep moving the change. The time is slowly going down. You know, and I like that. This is, like, the perfect drive. We are doing, like, the most perfect drive right there. And Devontae Parker just finishes it off with a touchdown. So, it's now 24-17. to The Dolphins take the lead with just under three to go. And if we make a stop here, this could mean that we go to the AFC Championship game at home or against Denver. That would be awesome. So the, the Colts are driving. That's what's scaring me now. They're at the 24-yard line, and there's still plenty of time left in this football game. So we got to figure out something here to try and make a stop. So third down and two here, under two to go. Here is Andrew Luck, single back formation. He drops back. And he looks, oh, but it's incomplete. He throws it out of the end zone, in the back of the end zone. And uh, now we are one play away from possibly going to the AFC Championship game. And here's the play. I formation. We're going to bunch up the line of scrimmage. They're going to try and play action. But guess what? The defense is right there, and we get the sack. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is your ball game. The Dolphins come back from 14 points down to win the game final score 24 to 17 and we will either take on the baltimore ravens or the denver broncos either at sunlight if we face the ravens we are at sunlight stadium and if it is the broncos we go all the way to mile high and boy oh boy it's going to be a great afc championship game ladies and gentlemen cannot wait for you guys to see it it's going to be awesome but anyway Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys drop that like button. And if you're new to the channel, why not subscribe? We're nearing 6,000 subscribers, guys. You guys have been amazing in supporting this series and my channel. You guys are the best subscribers in the world. Couldn't have been here without you. You guys are just awesome. 10 out of 10. And wouldn't ask for anything more. But anyway, until next time, my name is Sim with Vengeance. You guys have been amazing as always. I'm out. Peace.